The Lord be with you. May his spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. According to Luke. Why some people were speaking about how the temple was adorned with costly stones and votive offerings, Jesus said, All that you see here, the days will come when there will not be left a stone upon another stone that will not be thrown down. Then they ask him, Teacher, when will this happen? And what sign will there be when all these things are about to happen? He answered, See that you not be deceived. For many will come in my name saying, I am he. And the time has come. Do not follow them. When you hear of wars and insurrections, do not be terrified, for such things must happen first, but will not immediately be the end. Then he said to them, Nation will rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. There will be powerful earthquakes, famines, and plagues from place to place, an awesome sight and mighty sight will come from the sky. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. Meditating this morning on this beautiful <laughs> passage, how much the Lord already had predicted of what's happening today. And we see, we see in our own eyes what's happening today with all the structure all over the world. Every time you turn the news, there's something bad happens. In Egypt, it was 305 person lost their life. A few days ago, it was on a Sunday, I believe it was Friday, when the Muslim gathered on a mosque to pray. And here they are, 305 dead and almost 150 injured. This is the latest. And every time we hear the news, something happened. That's exactly what Jesus had prophesied. I mean, all the earthquakes, Hurricane Irma, she left a devastation around people still recuperating, and so forth and so on. So again, so what that mean to us? Do we should be alarmed? Of course we are alarmed. Fear to lose? Yes. But one thing the message is this this morning, is to focus on our spiritual journey. No matter what happened, we always has to be close to Christ. Because all this is happening should not hinder us or put us in fear or paranoia or anxieties when we expect all this mother nature and all this human atrocity happening. It can happen in this country, you never know. So are we ready to encounter all that stuff? We have to be ready spiritually to live our life today in this society. It is not an easy society today, but still life is good. Life is worth living because God is in it. And everything was God is in it, it's good. Because man who destroys, man can be very evil. We all that concupiscence, we can go to the left or to the right. Some people are far left and they become evil. So again, we should be always focused on Christ, no matter what. Fear not, fear not. God knows what we need, not what we want. Everybody wants and wants and wants, right? But God knows what you need. That's what's important. You need to focus exactly what do you need to survive? What do you need to be close to Christ? What do you need to be at peace with yourself? What do you need to be with peace with others? And that's a message today. As much as that Christ has prophesied all that, even the temple of Jerusalem, 70 AD, it was destroyed by the Romans, flat now complete. Again, Daniel also, when he tried to read the, <clears throat> the dream of Nebuchadnezzar, he was looked like silly and naive. Jesus, when he predicted the temple Jerusalem destruction, he was called to blaspheming. So again, all that stuff is happening for a reason. The reason now is only God knows what's happening, but we do know why. We do know why. It is because evil is alive and well. So we Christians, believe in Jesus, we should be fighting evil with prayer. We should be fighting evil with love and care. 
It's not an eye for an eye. We should be loving more others. We should be caring more for others and also for ourselves and have a positive attitude, an attitude of joy always no matter what. I know many neighbors of mine, they lost their roof on Hurricane Irma. But again, they have a good smile, they have a good attitude, the insurance is going to pay what happened. But again, it's not in the materialist, materialistic uh, view of it. It is what comes from your heart. It's it comes from your mind, from your soul, from your spirit. That's what it counts. Your body going to vanish. All this mind, all this intellect, and all this body, all this beauty of the body, you want to call it, it'll be gone. Completely gone. It'll be ashes. Be nothing left. So what left? Your soul. We're here today because our soul, not our body, of course. We pray for healing. We pray for better health. We pray that may the good Lord grant us that health we need to continue this journey here on earth. But somehow, somewhere, this journey on earth can be challenging. Of course it is. But also, you have to remember also that the journey we have is a single journey. You're only alone on this journey. People will help you to go through, but it's all up to you. What you want from this life and what you expect for the next one. Amen. Amen.